So now we're talking about price testing. We don't do a whole lot of price testing, just some thoughts around price testing. There is very little A-B testing software uh, that does price testing and statistical analysis in a meaningful way, whether it's using frequentious or if using uh, Bayesian Bayesian statistics. Most of the testing engines might report or different variations to the RPV revenue per visit, or they might report the AOV, but determining a winner is not based on price, not based on the RPV or the AOV, or based on this variation generated this like revenue for me and this variation generated this revenue for me. Determining the winner using frequentious or bayes unusually is looking at conversion rates, correct? Whether somebody converted or not. What's the conversion rate for this variation? We usually rely on a conversion metric to determine a winner. We look at the revenue metric, but this is a secondary metric for us. The only time we're very concerned about the revenue metric, if the variation and the control have at least 20% difference between them. At that point in time, we're like, huh, I wonder why this happened, but that's not enough either. Because at that point in time, we want to look at the actual raw data for the A-B test, remove what we call extreme orders. You're running a test a control versus a variation. The average order value is 100, but somebody decided to come to the control and place an order for $100,000. Guess what? The AOV for your control just shot up and you look like your variation just lost horrendously. Well, no, it's a single order. It's an extreme order. That's the reason you see that huge variation in the average order value or the revenue per visit. That's the reason you have to be careful. You have to be able to download the data, remove those extreme orders on both sides above the average order value, below the average order value, and then do your analysis. So is it based on a frequentist? Not true. Really. Really, it's more a secondary metric that we use to help us make the decision, but it's not the primary metric.